everyone. So, just got out of the bath. So my hair's frizzy. Frizzy. <laughs> what hair I've got. For sakes. Nightmare. It just falls out. Uh, so yeah, out for a walk. Me, Saren, and of course Gia. But it is really warm. Me, Saren, Literally. Gia and my stick. And the stick. There you go, lovely. And the stick. Don't forget and the stick. stick. And the stick. Oh, my head. It's gone all fruffy there. <laughs> Yeah, so out for a walk. Oh my God, it's warm. Like we're literally there's a, our house is there, and uh, so we've barely walked anywhere, and it's like already we're stripping. <laughs> I, I'm undone. My hat is off. It's warm. Like it's really warm. Right. So when I say, hold on, that we could walk here to our house, you can see. I'll show you. Right. So. There's a tiny bit of yellow, because our house is yellow, but our cottage really is yellow. A little bit of white yellow you see there, that's our cottage. So when I say we have to walk all the way round, all the way round there sort of thing, we could actually just cross that one field and be home. But, well, I'm tripping over the dock. She's so good. She's just standing oh, no, there. Oh my gosh, she's so good. She just stood there, <laughs> tripped over. Um, so yeah, that's like I said in the garden the other day, if you watched it, that's how far away we are, but we have to walk a really long way in a circle around it because I won't go on his land. He's given us a circle time, I know, but he gave us permission to use it and go on it because he doesn't use it for anything. But um, that was a while ago. And I don't want to, like, um, just take advantage and think that it still stands because it was a long time ago he said it. Do you know what I mean? So, I'm not doing it. But, um, yeah, it'd be a lot easier if we could just go across there when it gets, like, hard and stuff. And, or oh, starts to rain or something, I don't know. But right now it's hot. I'm going to have to take my coat off. It's that, that warm. Hold on. That's better. <laughs> oh, it's really warm. It's not just like a bit warm. It's really warm. I've got like a vest top on underneath this. And a, like a thermally vest top. But it's thermal. Look, it's fluffy on the inside. But it's a vest top. So it's quite cool. Because it's like for days like this. A full long sleeved thermal tops too much but a little vest top one's kind of perfect because I'm not cold. There you go. Just gibbering. Absolutely just gibbering. So Echo's at home playing with her bluey star. Mike is doing mic stuff, whatever. Mike's doing everything all the time, always. Bless him. He does so much. So I don't know what he's actually doing, but I'm looking after Echo. Neo's having a hissy fit. Um, because we're trying a new routine for their homeschooling. We're trying to flip it. So they do their school work in the evening time and then they get all day to do what they want and play while the sun's up and um you know it's nice and we can go not that we don't anyway but like they get to spend the whole day up sort of thing doing what they want playing in the garden instead of go waiting till night time and then when it's darker at the moment and you're not in the summer but at the moment you know they're 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 just like got nothing to do in the evenings really they just I play and watch tv and stuff like that because they've done their work and they've been out or whatever but if we switch it for the summer then they get to 
play all day in the sun, like at the moment, and then it starts to get darker and they can do their work then because they stay up till late. They stay up till quite late, these kids. Um, and Echo don't really particularly have a set like bedtime, to be honest. We're pretty fluid fluid in our learning and our teaching and like their bedtimes and routines and things yeah we're pretty like hold on look at Gia how where's she gonna go there's the mud there's the mud is she gonna go? yeah up around look eh, pushing me into it of course thanks Gia but she oh my god Gia <laughs> you walked through it girl that defeated the whole object now you're trying to walk through it around it this way she hates mud Oh, prissy paws. Bet you messed it up, G. <laughs> We're doing, G Dog. <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, so he's basically been playing all day and now he's. Like, arguing. Every point possible. Sam and Snow walk around, had you. <laughs> he's so cute. Saren is so cute, man. I still think he's a little cutie. Like Neo's got that teenage look going on now. A boy. Oh, grow like an older boy. Saren's still got that cuteness. Cheeky, cheeky, chappy cuteness about him. And he's so petite and little for his age. Tiny. He's my build. Like he's going to be... I don't think... I think he's going to be quite little... I think Neo's going to be quite tall. Neo's taller than me now. Which he is <laughs> ridiculously happy about. <laughs> he is so happy that he's taller than me. <laughs> it's like he's been waiting for his entire life to be able to go, Mum, I'm taller than you now. Seriously, like, it's a daily thing. Mum, can we measure each other? Mum, can we stand? Look, am I taller than you yet? Am I taller than you yet? Every day I get this. Am I taller than you yet? <laughs> am I taller than you yet? <laughs> Now he is by about this much. And it's like, inch. not even out of your hair, pretty much about an inch, yeah. And it's like, he's loving it. He's absolutely under a tree. He's loving it. He's loving that he's finally taller than me. So I don't know what, I think he's going to be, I don't know, I think he's going to be quite stocky. I think he's going to be fat. I think he's going to be, well, he's not fat. I think he's going to be stocky and I don't think he's going to be super tall. I think he's going to be, I don't know, like medium build and quite, I think he's going to be quite stocky, little fella. But Saren, I think he's going to be petite and little. And I didn't know, but everybody who now meets Echo says she's ridiculously tall for her age, which I didn't know. I thought she was little. But like height, like obviously her weight at the moment's not great. Um, I think when she got so ill, well, when she nearly died, um, because she wouldn't eat, and well, oh, when they thought she had cancer, when they thought she had leukemia, and she nearly died, without going through all of that again right now, she nearly died. We had to really switch up what we gave, and we had to give her like things to make her eat basically um supplements that would give her appetite and things like that because she was so tiny and um yeah she's now a little chunk so she needs to start running she'll lose it in the summer and she's running around in the garden she'll lose it really quickly but at the moment she's a right little chunk <laughs> she's a bugger she's like it annoys me. She's a right little chunk, little chubber. She's so chubby, chubby and I can't. Now. I don't like it. I don't like looking at her and seeing her chubby. Like she's not unhealthily fat or fat or anything, but she's chunky, and I don't like it. I want her to be fair. Not back to how she was because obviously she was very poorly. But I wanted to be a little, my little petite little echo, not like this, <laughs> like um rubble at a Paw Patrol. She's like little rubble, a little chubby rubble at a Paw Patrol. 
Bless her. Echo. Oh, bye.